Hello everyone and welcome back to another Green Man Travels adventure and today we're on a new mod map called Dutch Fantasyland. Now this map was released on the 30th of the 1st 2024, so today. It is only PC and Mac compatible, it's on version 1.0.0.0, it's 194.95 megabytes to download and it's created by a map maker slash modder called Northeast Modding. Now uh, there's a little bit of information on Mod Hub, so we'll run through that very, very quickly. It says, this is Dutch Fantasy, 160 farmlands, 145 fields, main industry and selling points, one BGA, three cow farms, one place where sheeps are on the dikes. Not quite sure what that means, but that's obviously some interesting translations. It's a completely fan fantasy map, so it's uh, not based on anywhere in um, the Dutch heartland. It's got custom soil map, more paintable stone types, precision farming ready, custom fill plane textures, Dutch license plates with options to make your own name with seven characters, multi-terrain angle as well, so that's pretty good. There's quite a few mods that are needed to run this uh, map, so we'll run through those quickly. There is the wind turbine package by Razak. Old Farm Package by DMI 20mm Normandy. Dutch Shed Pack by Ref Farmer and 20mm DM, or DMI 20mm Normandy. Cow Shed 3 plus 3 by DMI 20mm Normandy. EU Factories by DMI 20mm Normandy. Dutch Contractor Sheds by Dutch Modding Inc. Medium Bunker Silo by K03Y. Crop Storage Pack by DMI 20mm Normandy. The Manure Basin by DMI 20mm Normandy and the Farmhouse Package Volume 2 by, you've guessed it, DMI 20mm Normandy. So let's get our feet firmly back down on the ground and have a quick look at our starting equipment. As you can see we start with quite a lot of equipment so let's run through this pretty quick. We've got a Fent Favorite 511C small tractor, we've got a Fent 724, a Class Action 800, a Fent 714 Vario in medium, we've got the Russell Math Nova 330 in harvesters, we've got a Welga DK115 dolly trailer, so complete not to hell, the Russell Math header, an Agrimash plow, the Amazoni power harrow and the cedar to go with it. We've got a nice slurry tanker, a shooting I think that is. So that and also the dribble bar, I think that might be a yeah, slurry distributor, so that's nice. We've got a Cavernland 4140 mower, we've got a uh, KHN tedder, we've got the Shamash wind rower, still one of my favourites, the Stroutman Zeon forage wagon, the Silo King um, for the animals, so TMR mixer, very nice though. We've got a Quickie Q6M front loader and then we've got an Albert solid cutter and a fork with grapple, so those two are a little bit different, I must admit. Don't have any leased equipment in new farmer mode, and we don't have any map specific mods either. So, farmyard wise, it's not massive, and it is a little bit different to some Dutch maps I've seen. Usually, this is quite um, cobbled or it's some kind of other hard wearing stone, but this is more concrete, which I think actually suits this map down to the ground more. Small shed here, we've got one of the Solary Basin. That's actually quite a nice map. I got mod sorry for the map i've actually fallen down a dike there so there's a few dikes around the fields so just be very careful we've got some silage clumps here there's one here and one at the side we've then got our nice cow barn there and then we've got some other little postables it doesn't seem to be a trigger for your uh, sleep trigger so i'm not sure if that's been missed or it's just not part of the map but there we go but uh, as you can see we've got dikes all around so just be very careful in this fence doesn't seem to have collisions on so you probably will end up in a dike when you start driving around when it comes to the what farmland we own so we own uh, farmland one two three four 154 which is your farm and 155 so quite a lot of starting land i must admit but it's very nice Crop calendar wise, it hasn't been altered by the looks of it. Nothing's been added or removed when it comes to crops and fruits, etc. And doesn't look like the seeding and planting seasons have been changed. Uh, we do start with one animal enclosure, the cow bark, which is kind of behind me. So it's here. So that is a 250 head. So not too bad at all. And obviously, you've got your feed trigger in here. So that could be quite an interesting reversing maneuver. To get in or out depending on which way you want to do it contracts obviously there's quite a lot of fields 145 fields it doesn't say anything about how many of those have ai uh, contracts on but hopefully there should be a few so obviously there's two there not massive amount of money but these are a lot of fields so you could probably 
um, stack them up and get a few in there. Production chains, you don't start with any yourself in New Farmer mode. So let's have a quick look at the actual PDA itself. As I said, we start here. We've got a few bits and bobs in our farmyard. So we've got a cow, we've got a silo here as well, the slurry basins, that's pretty good. But the actual uh, fields themselves, I mean, the, the roads are not massively super gritty, so which is quite nice because some Dutch maps can be quite gritty. So, um, and some of the fields and some of the roads seem to be pretty nicely laid out and a little bit random. There's a river or a, a wider dike or canal here and down here. It's quite a few areas of water as well. I'm not sure if you could take water from them for animals or greenhouses, but you might be able to. Some of the fields do have like inlets of grass or um, other kind of forests and bits and bobs in them, which is quite nice to see. And they're all quite random shapes and sizes, so that's good as well. So definitely some unique texturing going on as well on uh, some of them as we drive around, we'll see. So if we have a quick look at our productions and selling points, start up here. So we've got a water tank and a large petrol tank. Then here we have a gas station. Then we've got a farmer's market. Down here we've got a Vukerp Vast Mest. Don't know what that is. A manure selling point and a liquid buying station for manure. I think obviously here we've got the vehicle shop. That kind of makes sense. Animal dealer, I had a guess, yep. And then over here we've got quite a lot of productions. I think grain mill, dairy, animal dealer, selling station potatoes, selling station maize, selling station maize, let's so get the one behind, probably not be able to, selling station everything, and then a cereal factory. So quite a few bits and bobs and places to sell there, I must admit. I think we've got one left here, which is this one. Incoop Van Vaden, not sure what that is, to be honest with you. Um, let's have a quick look actually, because we haven't looked at the prices for everything. So looks like most things do sell in a one or two places. It's not an awful lot of selling places, but it does seem like most things, okay, I say most things, some things don't sell. So just be careful that fabric don't clothe, don't, cereal doesn't, but we've got a cereal, do we have a cereal factory? I thought there was a cereal factory on here. No grain mill and a dairy. I know there is a cereal factory but nowhere to sell the cereal. Okay, well that might be fixed in an update, you never know. Um, that kind of is a little bit strange, but there we go. So probably don't buy that production. Um, so there's quite a few things that don't sell in quite a few places. Um, quite an interesting names of some things as well. But there we go. So I think that's that. So if I have a quick jump into one of our vehicles, let's take the, yeah, let's take the 714 Vario for a drive. Let's have a quick look around the map. I'm going to go down this track here. So, as you can see though, it's, it isn't a flat map at all. And obviously there's quite a lot of places with dikes. Some of the roads, some of the side roads do look quite narrow. But some of the bridges and the dikes are very nicely done. And the, uh, the roads seem very well done as well. Obviously it is quite a flat area in places, but there is some undulation on others. Now, if I'm probably going to go into some interesting places up here, I'm guessing. Let's have a look. Where have I gone? Uh, oh no, it does go to somewhere. I thought it was probably the end of the map, but it's not. But as you can see, as we passed a couple of fields back there, we do have seem to have an upward rise of a bank here onto a main road. Some of the uh, bridges and culverts into the fields over the dikes do seem to be pretty nicely, pretty nicely designed and pretty nicely textured. Now I think some of the foliage and the tree placements and things looks pretty good too. So obviously some bigger fields up there. Let's go this way. So looking pretty good though, I must admit. Um, it's definitely a little bit different to other Dutch maps I've played or actually done map tours on. There's another farm there by the looks of it. Um, interesting with the um, red tarmac on the right hand side, I'm guessing. Ooh, look, someone on a cycle. That's probably what this is then. I'm guessing that might be a cycle lane or something like that which is quite a nice feature I must admit, so it's quite a nice tree tunnel as well and the trees aren't too low either for when you're driving outside of cab which is quite nice to see. So but as you can see it's um, got some very nice fields, nice shapes as well, some nice areas, so you've got some probably pretty good areas for expansion if you've got some fields that don't have the dikes in between, so that's pretty good. 
as we go around here we'll see that this drops off a little bit and we'll probably pull over in a second but I mean I must admit it's a very nicely textured map uh, we've got some very nice buildings as well so it's very nice oh he's waiting for me which is quite nice so if we go down here quickly we're probably going to pull off here because I think this is probably another another farm or a bit of a village to our right here so let's have a look so here we go so we'll just pull down here yeah so obviously it's got some uh, houses here for a bit of a residential area so some nice decoration going on some of the gardens need a little bit of maintaining I think but it does add some nice features uh, I must admit so also can maybe another small farm there it's got some nice routes in between our fields as well so what we'll do I think we'll pull over just up here and have a quick look at our field prices so here we go so field prices wise what have we got so a bit of expansion probably go for seven 80,000, 6, 305, wow, 69, 71, 68, 84, let's go down here because some of these are quite small, 104 though, 113, what about these unusual triangular and trapezoid shaped fields, 170, 100,000, 107, 195, 114 so some quite heavy pricing on some of the fields 95 is 319 six so far was the most expensive probably 129 563 wow that's quite expensive but i must admit that i do like the layout of the fields they are very random quite um unusually laid out which i really do like i must admit so hopefully you've enjoyed this map tour if you have give it a like subscribe to the Greenland channel and i hope to see you again soon many thanks for watching